I'm Kay, and this late bloomer is on the road. <laughs> Today I'm in Mar Vista, California, and we are on the hunt for the monarch butterfly. I'm with Lori Breyer in her monarch habitat. She has something like 500 milkweed plants in her yard, which, uh, tell us why, why milkweed? Because that's where the monarch lays their eggs, and that's what the caterpillars eat, it believes. So if you want monarchs, you gotta have milkweed. Lori is a citizen scientist collecting data on the life cycle of the monarch butterfly. She counts eggs, larvae, and adults, and reports her findings to the University of Minnesota. A seed pod for the milkweed. For the milkweed, yeah. This is actually the same goose plant mm -hmm. that's in the other part of the yard. That's like a tree. Not content with 500 plants in her own yard, Lori helped create seven milkweed gardens for her neighbors and has given away a thousand milkweed plants. With numbers of western monarchs in serious decline, Lori is on a mission to increase monarch habitat. Look at that, it's got all these little bugs. Those are milkweed bugs. Mm -hmm. Is that one crawling on you right mm -hmm. there? That's a milkweed bug? They get much bigger. <laughs> This is the type of milkweed, it's called narrow leaf milkweed, and ideally this is the kind to plant here because it is a native. There are many benefits to growing native plants. Find out what varieties of milkweed are native to your area. That's actually a courting dance, how they're tasting and they swirl. So that's a courting <laughs> dance? Yeah. Wow, the mating goes on for a while, hours. huh? Hours, it could be hours. Hours, ooh. <laughs> they're so beautiful. They're really, they're amazing. And the female can lay up to 400 eggs in a lifetime. She has a little timer that doesn't let her lay an egg more than once every five or ten seconds. So, <laughs> so she's flying. You'll see the you'll see the females flying around, and they stop and they perch on even a plant this small. The egg is almost always on the underside of the leaf because the, the female sits on the leaf, wraps her body around the leaf. There's a, one egg on each of these two plants. It looks like they were just laid today. The egg will hatch in just a couple of days. And here's a wasp um, looking for that egg because that wasp has a nest and needs protein for its babies. So here's some additional new eggs and you can see that this is probably has uh, laid by the same female, but one per leaf. Mm -hmm. So here's one, and here's one. Lori said the latex substance inside milkweed, the milk, can be an eye irritant. So make sure you wear gloves or wash your hands before you come in from the garden. somebody wants to get into growing milkweed, is there anything that they need to know about the soil or how to plant it or are they easy to grow? They're very easy to grow. Uh, most nurseries will have a native type of milkweed. Um, so they can grow in sandy soil or clay soil. Um, I would say treat it like a plant, not a weed. Mm -hmm. uh, take care of it. What did we find? <laughs> we found a monarch caterpillar in its third in star stage. It's going to shed its skin two more times and it will double in size. And the reason I'm saying it is because you can't tell the sex of a caterpillar. Let's see how he's, he's now made his move. Eventually he'll turn around and head back down to a leaf so he can munch. So he can investigate all he wants, but he can't right. eat anything except a leaf. Except the leaf of a milkweed plant. Wow. And the, the milkweed plant is poisonous to a lot of creatures, so when the monarch caterpillar eats the milkweed, it makes the monarch caterpillar poisonous to birds. And birds are one predator, so it's a defensive mechanism that the caterpillar is eating the milkweed. How many caterpillars would you see in a month? In the fall, hundreds. Right this time of year, very rare, like one or two at a time. 
So we got really lucky today. So we got really lucky. This this one did not get consumed by a wasp at the egg stage because it was it was hit, nice and hidden. So the wasps eat the eggs, eggs on the leaf. The wasps also eat the caterpillars. What is your little container? You're going to... So this is to keep him from walking around the house. So this will just sit like this inside. And I'll give him or her fresh milkweed every two days. He or she will grow and double in size and shed skin twice. Probably take another week and a half. And then he or she will probably crawl up the side of this and make a little green chrysalis right on the side of this container. And then what? Inside. Then he or she will transform into a butterfly, hatch, and once they hatch, I bring them outside and unrelease them right away. But how long does the, from the chrysalis to the hatching? About three weeks if it's warm. Well, thank you so much you thank for you. sharing your uh, thank you. yard with me. It was awesome. <laughs> thank you. I'm Kay, I'm a late bloomer, thanks for watching. See you next time. Now when I was young, we used to catch butterflies and uh, gas them and put pins in them and <laughs> stick them in styrofoam. <laughs> you probably don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Grow milkweed. <laughs> <laughs>